Welcome to 71 Allen Street. This home was built in 1967 and is currently occupied by the original owners. It is a well-maintained all brick bungalow with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two additional bedrooms in the basement. Upon coming into the house, you'll find the living room on the right. The living room features original hardwood flooring. If you continue further into the house, there is a separate hallway which brings you into the three bedrooms. Each of the bedrooms also feature original hardwood flooring. They all also have large closets with built-in shelving. The main bathroom is dated, however it is in immaculate condition, very, very clean. It does feature a very in-style retro vanity, which is original to the home. And a very large closet, which is ideal for toiletry and linen storage. There is an additional linen closet in the hallway. Coming out of the main hallway, we go through a pocket door into the dining room. Once again, the dining room also features original hardwood flooring in pristine condition. And the dining room overlooks the backyard. You will note that this listing features almost all new windows. The only window that hasn't been replaced is this dining room window, which was left unreplaced because the owners had, in, had planned on putting a walkout to the yard. The dining room is adjacent to the kitchen. The kitchen is immaculate and spotlessly clean. Somebody could easily use this space without doing any work to it. Or, of course, you could put your own touch on this kitchen by installing some updated flooring and cabinetry. The kitchen has a side door entrance into the home and as well a storage pantry which is very convenient for storing food. If we make our way down a few stairs here, we'll head into the basement. The basement is finished with a lovely rec room and a gas fireplace. As you walk through the rec room, you'll see that there is a dry bar. And this leads you to the two additional basement bedrooms, very large with closets. This particular bedroom has painted concrete flooring. And the second basement bedroom, very bright, oversized windows. And this has carpeting in it. As you can see, the bedrooms do have closets. Additionally, the basement features, and bear with me, this fan is gonna make a bit of noise. It does feature a three-piece bathroom with a shower. Again, this bathroom is somewhat dated, however, it is impeccably clean. It's worth noting that you will see some baseboards around the basement. However, it is heated by central, uh, central air and the baseboards were simply left intact um, when the central air was, uh, was installed. There is a cold cellar 
in the basement as well. And then we're heading into the other side of the basement, which is a laundry room, again with a nice bright window, and a utility room. This utility room features a new furnace and hot water heater, which the furnace is a Lennox. It was installed in 2016, as was the water heater. And it's worth noting that the air conditioner was also installed in 2016 and is also a Lennox. One of the features of this house is the electrical system. As with most homes in Port Perry, this house does have a sump pump. This home has had a battery backup installed. And as you see, there is a separate panel. Some of this home, including the kitchen and the heating, has been uh, hooked up to a manual generator backup. So in the event of a power outage, the sump, the kitchen, and the heat will all continue running at the flip of a switch. We'll now head back upstairs. And out the side entrance. And we'll go into the beautiful backyard. This backyard is stunning. The lot size for this property is 66 by 165. The lot offers lots of privacy and mature trees. And again, we can see a view of the back of the house from the yard. This house does not have a garage. However, there are two large sheds included with the purchase. This is a great neighborhood for kids or for people who are perhaps looking for something more comfortable to retire in. There is a park just about 200 kilometers away.